Hi everyone! Welcome to the Mustard Seed Inspirations. I am Monina Bermejo and I belong to the organizations of the Legion of Mary and the Little Children of the Divine Will under the worship ministry of our parish, St. Alphonsus Mary de Liguri. I've been an active member of the Legion of Mary for 27 years and the Little Children of the Divine Will for 21 years. In this week's Gospel reading of the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, I chose the verses that speak to me in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And in verse 39, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love God above all and love your neighbor as yourself. This is the inspiration that gives meaning and purpose to my life. My apostolate of my love for God and neighbor began when I just became a widow 28 years ago when I lost my husband Rudy to cancer in 1992. He left me with five wonderful children, all grown up and finished with their schooling. So just after two months of my husband's passing away, I took the opportunity to realize my dream of evangelizing personally the poor and underprivileged since the Magallanes Village Association had the project of feeding the poor along the railroad track across our village, which we used to call Home Along the Riles. I asked the social worker in charge of the project to accompany me to the Riles because I would like to teach the people there about God and Mama Mary, like praying the rosary and reading the Bible in Tagalog. So the social worker introduced me to the leader of the neighborhood who was asked to invite some women to listen and meet with me. Upon our arrival, about 20 mothers were waiting for me since only four people can enter her house. Some of the mothers carrying their babies were standing outside the house and listened to me. I also distributed some rosaries to them, which they eagerly accepted. And so, that day, my apostolate to the poor realized its beginning. I, took, I continued to go there every week, no matter how difficult the circumstances were, like daring to ride the makeshift trolley on the railroad tracks and being ready to get off when there was an oncoming train. After several months of doing the apostolate alone, I was introduced and encouraged to establish the Legion of Mary in the parish. Hence, together with some members from the Legion of Mary, we continued visiting the Riles for the next 10 years, even facilitating all the sacraments for them together with our priests from the parish. Eventually, they were able to put up a chapel financed by some of our parishioners until they were relocated to Cabuyao, Laguna. With my apostolate in the Riles, I recall the Bible verse, which inspired me all the way during those times and up to now. And I quote Matthew 25, verse 40. Amen, I say to you, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Now, touching on my other active membership with the organization, the Little Children of the Divine Will. It is a spirituality given by our Lord to the servant of God, Luisa Picareta, wherein we learn living in God with the same life and possessing the life of God as our own. Quoting again from the Bible in 1 John chapter 4 verse 16 
we have come to know and to believe in the love of God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in Him. Through this spirituality, I really experience loving God in every minute of my life. As soon as I wake up in the morning, until I sleep at night, I recognize and realize loving God and thanking Him even through my every heartbeat, my every breath, and the circulation of my blood, and in everything that I do, even in the most ordinary acts of the day, like calling the Lord to think in my thinking, speak in my speaking, listen in my listening. I continuously say, I love you, Jesus, in the sun, in every ray of light, in every movement of the wind, in every, every chirping of the birds, in every drop of rain, and in every person I meet throughout the day. This has been my usual way of loving God in everything and in everyone. One day last August, while I was praying, I was interrupted by Janet, my caregiver, reporting to me that our driver, Jay, collapsed and had to be brought immediately to the hospital. Apparently, we learned later that he had a stroke. In the events that subsequently followed, because of my love for him, as a neighbor entrusted to me by God, I attended to the fullest detail his hospital and medical bills, even extending the assistance to his family, his wife and three children, who are now currently staying with me, making sure that they are well taken care of because it is Jay who is the main earner of the family. It hurt financially, psychologically, and even physically. But that was how the Lord wanted me to prove my love for Him and my neighbor. I remember the verse in the Bible, Luke chapter 10, verse 35, the parable of the Good Samaritan. Take care of Him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. I thank the Lord and the Blessed Mother for all the graces they have given me to love and serve the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, Teach us to love you the way you want to be loved and to give this very love to our brothers and sisters, especially to those who need it the most, according to your will. Amen. Thank you for joining us at the Mustard Seed Inspirations. Please join us at Holy Mass today at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. God bless you all and have a good day.